Hey you doing guys, Larry here. We're gonna go through a 10 minute mobility work and we're gonna start that in 45 seconds. Um, so really quickly, the key points to mobility and flexibility is consistency. We're gonna do 10 minutes today. You can do it two or three rounds of it. Make sure you're repeating this two, three, four, five, maybe even seven times a week in order to improve mobility. We're gonna focus on the hips, we're gonna focus on the ankles and the upper back as well, guys. Make sure that when you're doing this, you might need a cushion as well to help it become a little more comfortable as you're doing this mobility work but as I said let's get into it now again you'll have a cushion to hand and if you want to do this in your feet you can by all means as well help stretch out the fascia of the foot okay so first things first guys let's do our pre-check walk out to one of my favorite exercises it's important to keep supple down the hamstrings back of the calves and that posterior chain so we're gonna go hands onto the floor nice big stretch the back of the legs crawl out pause Crawl back in. Feel comfortable, you can do a push up if you want to. And if this is too difficult, just widen the stance. Get the hands to the floor, crawl out, pause, and then you're gonna crawl back in. Let's keep going in that, guys, for another 20 seconds. Just noting how the body feels, where are we tight, where are we feel a bit tender. Are we struggling to keep the legs straight coming back in? If so, widen that stance a bit more. Another five seconds. Again, don't be afraid to add in that push-up if you feel very competent at it. The more joints move, the better. Next one, down onto our pigeon stretch. Hands go on the ground, leg comes up and across our body to a 90 degree angle, and we slide back and down into that stretch. In this position, I'm gonna keep my back knee locked out, and then I'm gonna keep this leg at 45 degrees, and then sitting back into that hip. Again, we're gonna hold this now for 60 seconds each side. Holding that pigeon stretch, I'll show you from the front. So that's it from the kind of front angle. And we're sliding back and down into that stretch, stretching out that hip. So right now my left leg is underneath me and I'm stretching out that left hip. We're gonna hold for another 20 seconds. Same leg, holding that stretch, sitting back into that hip, breathing steadily. Breathing out, holding that stretch. Three, two, one, switch legs. Opposite leg goes across, slide back and down, opposite leg. So with this pigeon stretch, we're breathing steadily in and breathing out. Keeping the hips square to the ground, shoulders square, pushing the chest up and out, keeping that back leg dead straight and keeping that back leg locked out as well. Keep that stretch held. Pushing the chest up. And again, make sure that back knee is off the ground. It's gonna help getting that deep hip flexor stretch. Another 25 seconds. If you wanna get the neck moving as well, you can. Breathing in. Breathing out. Sitting deep into that stretch. Another 15 seconds. Sometimes the muscle is trying to stretch, which is my right glute in this case. If I actually push my knee into the ground, my right knee, I activate that right glute, hold for five seconds, relax that push, and then go further into it. Five more seconds, four, three, two, one. Good, let's grab our cushion, put it up against the wall. We're gonna go into our couch stretch next. So that toe goes up against the wall, knee goes down, and that cushion just protects my kneecap. And then as I come up into that upright position, toe is flexed into the wall, hand in the air, push the hips forward, feeling that big stretch going down the front of the hip. So keep that held guys. We're gonna do 60 seconds each side. Hand in the air, pushing those hips forward. Toe up against the wall, and getting a big stretch down the front of my right thigh right now. In the right hip flexor as well. I'm holding there for another 35 seconds. Breathing in. Breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. Again, when you're doing this stretch, just note where you're feeling. You might feel a quite big time in the quad, the thigh muscle. And if you get sore knees, it's important to keep that thigh muscle supple. You don't want that thigh, that quad muscle being tight. It's gonna pull at the knee. Vice versa, if you're sitting a lot all day, your hip flexors are gonna be shortened, so it's important to 
stretching out hip flexor runs pretty much from your belly button to the top of your hip and helps you bring your knee up to your chest switch sides put the hands on the ground swap the legs behind and let's switch over upright position again push those hips forward breathe in breathe out pushing those hips forward feel that big stretch in the front of that hip keeping that chest pushed out but remember don't hold the breath it shouldn't be holding like this you need to bring it to a point where you can comfortably stretch it and just breathe steadily and breathe relaxed if you want to push it on a bit more put your hand out to the side and lean over to the side a bit more stretching is all about holding the muscle controlling the breath and the ideal thing to do after you do all the stretching is to do a bit of strength work to help engage and reactivate those muscles after you've lengthened them today. But let's just focus on the task at hand now. Five more seconds on this hip flexor stretch. Three, two, one, excellent. We're gonna go down, back down to the ground. Put a cushion to the side. So we're going through a world, the world's best stretch complex. Half kneeling, hands inside of the foot back leg dead straight. Now what I want you to do is keep those hands on the ground and just try straighten that front leg up and down. Up and down. So my back leg is locked out and all I'm doing is I'm bending that knee and then trying to straighten it, getting a big stretch to the back of the hamstring. 10 more seconds and we're gonna stay on this side for the next stretch. Five, four, three, two, one, stay there. Right foot is in front, right elbow down. Reach up, turn. Big exhale. Back down, rotating T-spine. As low as you can, the inside leg. Up, turn. Two, down, up, turn. Three, down, up, turn. Four, down, up, turn. Switch legs, opposite leg, and we could do the whole sequence again. Straighten that front leg up and down to begin with. Feeling that stretch in the back of the hamstring. So I'm feeling this now a lot my left hamstring. Keeping that back leg locked out. Two more. One, back down. One more, back down. Now left foot is in front, left elbow down. Up, turn, exhale. One, down. Turn, three, down, up, turn, four. Think about rotating through the upper back. Turn, five, good, excellent. Next one, we're gonna go full kneeling position. If you can sit back on the heels, fantastic. Try not to cross your feet, okay? Sit back on the heels. If that's not comfortable, just sit back on the toes, okay? Now what I want you to do is we're going to make sure our hips are pointed straight forward. Fingers have to be interlocked. Put the hands behind the head. In this position now, what we're gonna do is push our elbows back. I'm sitting totally upright, lifting my chest, chin up. I cannot see my elbows out my peripheral vision and I'm gonna turn until I hit a blockage. Now I'm going to breathe in, dip down to the side that I'm turning to, hold for five seconds, square the shoulders back up, turn further. Dip. Square it back up. Turn further. Dip. Square it back up. Turn to the opposite side. Again, doing three each side. Opposite side, turn. Dip. Square back up. Come up to a full kneeling position if you need to, if you need to take pressure off your ankles. Turn to the second one. Dip. Square it back up. Turn further. And dip. And back to center. Let's go back into our walkouts, guys, to finish our 10 minute block. And again, noting on these walkouts, how do you feel compared to when we started? So yes, my back and my legs, my calves feel much better. And now as I walk in, can I keep those legs straight? 
Yes, I can. I can actually bring my feet a bit closer now that I've loosened up a bit. Back down, crawl out. Pause, crawl back in. Keep going for another 20 seconds, guys. And then that's your 10 minute mobility block done. If you want to repeat this video, all you need to do is wind it back to 45 seconds of where the video started. And then you'll see us starting that whole block again. There's no harm in repeating these exercises. Again, these are the key exercises we'd advise clients to do a lot more of, because it's where the majority of people are tired. Five more seconds, four, three, two, one, and rest, guys. Good stuff, well done. Again, as I said, if you're going for a second round, a third round, wind it back to 45 seconds. Off you go. If not, remember guys, repeat this three, four, five, six, seven times a week. As often as you can. I love doing it before I go for a run. I love doing it before my workouts. And it's those key exercises we advise clients to do. Again, less is more as approach when, you pick, when picking exercises. That way you don't have to think so much about them. Off you go guys, enjoy the video.